What's going on guys? So today's video is going to be basically reacting to an old match against uh, Fierce from a tournament match. You know, so you guys, you know, like me to react some videos. So it's pretty cool. So I'll be doing another one today. You know, this is probably one of the biggest comebacks in Call of Duty Mobile history where like the match is like, you'll, you'll see, like just watch the end. Trust me boys, you'll not be disappointed with how crazy this match was. Like I would probably put it up there with like the best comeback. Like, besides the 05 in, in Kadem history, like, the biggest comeback on a respawn, specifically in Domination. There's no, like, I've never seen another game, like, with this much of a comeback, especially in a tournament when there's, like, money on the line, you know, and, you know, legacy on the line. This is one of the matches that, you know, always be remembered to me, and I wanted to post it on my channel, you know, as, you know, one of the best matches I've ever played, the biggest comeback, and, you know, I'll be telling you my story, what I remember, I guess, you know. But, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, and, yeah, enjoy. Yeah, this yeah, turn right here, man. This is like the first. I think this was the semifinals right here of the tournament. This is a uh, Mad Class, the cast, the caster man. This is a really chill he guy, dude. You guys check him out. I'll post his uh, Twitch in the channel in the description. Make sure you check him out. He's a really chill guy. He's a really funny caster too. Yeah, I'm, I don't really remember much about this game, but uh, I do remember this was like a. This I think it was, I think it was a best of five. We won the S and D, so it was good. So this is the third map of a semifinal. So this is, you know, definitely pretty big, big, pretty big bang. God, I can't even speak this. This is a big game right here. Charles with the quick two kills there. They're holding down the, looks like the trailer. Great job here. Yeah, I remember we started off this map well here. Yeah, we pushed up in their spawn. Yeah, the problem here with pushing up here, they can cap the home flag. Wow. And their arsenal, not arsenal, sorry. Fierce looks like they're capping. They can cap C right here. Oh, the smoke, great smoke. I tried there. Cloud over here beaming, bro. He's a beam with that can. That looks like he's on fire right now. Three kills, no deaths. I remember, like, in this part of the map, I was in top 10. I was just chilling. Dude, I think I got a trim on kill in the beginning, but, you know, I was just chilling in top 10. Child taking out beam there. Still, uh, one flag each. Yeah, usually in the beginning of these dominations, man. Like, there's not much, um, action. You can say not much like things, but you know, the action starts when you get like two or three picks, man. That's when you start like progressing on the map. But here we try, I think we try to hop on B, but they try to suicide nade. Like in this tournament, suicide nading is allowed, man. So like they kept suicide nading. It was so annoying. I remember the comps were like, bro, they're fucking suicide nade. <laughs> But here we went to retake, yeah, and this is the part that like really screwed us right here. I think it was my fault that I killed this guy. <laughs> yeah, he suicided, bro. Like it's so stupid. We already talked about the suicide nade. We talked about it yesterday. We know it's we know about the rules and and world champs and stuff, but in here, the rules were clearly declared that anything goes. And that triple kill right there was too. Yeah, exactly. You said I was just letting him talk. Yeah. Anything goes, man, so you can suicide it, it's so stupid. But yeah, when you get these, dude, when we're getting spawn trap firing, it's just like the worst when where like you're just getting spawn trapped in there because they have all the map positioning, man. That's like the worst position you can be in. I think we finally broke through the tunnels there and finally helped them see. Yeah. And just like that. Yeah. I think it's about to say just like that would like have me and we just got mowed down. <laughs> this first half was really bad for us, dude. Like we got destroyed this first half. Like we were just getting mowed down. They had all the map positioning. Top fragger. <laughs> I just got shredded, bro. <laughs> He's like just fixing me to get shredded. I remember once they pulled that Nighter, I'm like, bruh, like, that half was over. I got killed, like, twice with that same Nighter. Like, I just spawned, I died with Nighter, and I spawned again, and you'll see me die again. I was like, bruh, this is so stupid. I don't think I died again, but, like, still. The Nighter can just spawn trap, and you can die, like, three times in a row. It's so annoying. Like yeah, like I said, in our round one, you know, nothing really interesting, no simple B camp. Yeah, we just got a pretty bad half right there. Uh, you know, we get like only like half the points. I mean, also right a half, you could say 75 points, let's still like, you're down by so many points. Yeah, 
I can't remember much, but like I remember we were like, come on boys, we got this. <laughs> you know, simple like motivation, we're like, come on boys, we got this. Let's go. Alright, like, we ain't scared of them. <laughs> and this match was like, I can't remember, this was like a month ago. I think this was about a month ago. Yeah, maybe even more. It's a long time ago. Yeah, they used their operators really well this game, I remember. We didn't, we didn't really use our operators so well. I remember I pulled out mine and I didn't get a single kill. I think I only got one kill with one operator. And it was like a useless kill. So anyways, after this game, Shadow here left the team. <laughs> and that's what's ironic is. He's on a, I don't know, he's on the team, but he left the team after this game. <laughs> But he was just shredding us. He kept spiking in shadow, bro. Like, why didn't he spiking us? You see my nutter? I kept shooting my nutter. I kept missing. I only got like one kill. But that pretty much right there is huge. I think we would hop on B right there. You know, it's two picks, five picks. So you hop on B, right? Take with that awesome. Yeah, take with that play right there. Predator missile. Oh my goodness. Tectonic with 19 kills here. Looking to absolutely carry. Try picks up one. He knows there's another one on it. Not gonna be able to get that one to go. But however, Tribe is taking A right now. He's successfully done so. Yeah, if you're down, well, right if you're down now, a cab, you just want to hold these two camps for the rest of the game. A and B is the best caps to hold because you get spatum spawns. You can just hold those. Right now, we're looking like Sneaky has a, a Goliath. He may be able to just stand on B right here and just and just cap it by himself. Sneaky uses this effectively, he can bring his team back right now. You know, if I had Goliath here, and you know they have no Niners, you should be pushing on B. He, he waited too long, and I think someone got an Niner and destroyed him here. You know, if I had the Goliath here, I'd be pushing him on B with the team. You know, like here. It's pretty too late, though. Like, you wanna. You see, you got the Niner here. Let him in the open and got him. Take Blade Smart Blade right there. But if I got the Goliath here, you wanna. You want to push up with the teammates, right? That can cover you. Absolutely. Or you can just wait for pigs and, go, and push up a camp. Yeah, I think they got B right there. Nah, I think I got a two piece right there and I got I, this guy Shadow just in the corner just chilling, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, look at that LK, bro, with beams. I don't know why he didn't shoot him. Back on the court, I met can see it on team. We have four court heads on our team. <laughs> That's like just melting these guys. Damn, bro. Another predator missile. <laughs> this map was so scrappy, I remember, dude. Like, like we were just yelling and we were like, ah, and we got four taken out. They're gonna hop on B right here. They top on B right there, yeah. And this is this is when we were like we were panicking. Not really panicking, but we were like shit, dude. It's 125, 127, dude. Like this is the time, like. But we actually needed to hold that, and we didn't. And when they put those malls, dude, I remember. I think I was right here. I saw that. I saw that, and I was like shit. I think we were that Molotov. But then I saw that B, and I was like, damn, bro. Like I had to pull them out. I had to make a play to make it. But then they threw out. They threw Molotov. I was like, damn, bro. And they threw an air shake on B. So like, at this point, any team. Any team right now would usually win this. There's no way when you're in this position, you have trailer control and seat on and top sand control. There's no way you lose this, man. Like, it's 141. All you have to do is hold for like five seconds. Just for five more seconds. But right here, right here, this is the time where it's, it's over, basically. There's no way. 145, 36, 137. But we got, I remember I went to top sand control. I got top sand. And we got C. And we hopped on B right here. I think I got top sand. And we literally just broke through right there. <laughs> First reaction. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, that's like the biggest comeback. You know, my voice. Watch. <laughs> Just watch. But this is like definitely the most memorable game on Domination I'll ever play. The comeback on that was crazy. Oh my god.